Hi, this is Brian. And this is Scott. We're with Colmere Realty. Today we wanted to answer the question, should I buy a vacation home or a second home? Ooh, that's a great question in this market, isn't it? As many of you know, the pandemic has changed how we've looked at housing and how many people across America have they've really evaluated their housing and what they really want in their housing. And it's created a housing boom across America, specifically in rural and resort destinations. So if you've considered buying a second home, here are a few things to consider in doing so. There are several things to consider. Number one and first and foremost would be your lifestyle. Do you want something different? Do you want something that you can drop everything and run to at a moment's notice? Or do you want to take some time, some planning, and have some travel to get to a far away destination where you can really relax? So the next thing to consider is the budget. As part of your budget, there's more than just the cost of the home. Obviously, you're going to have to heat it, you're going to have to cool it, you're going to have to maintain it. You're gonna have to you know, mow the yard or have someone mow the yard. All for those you. creature comforts. Yeah, all those comforts that we're used to and maybe we're doing those on our own or maybe we're paying someone else. But you need to remember that there's usually more cost associated to owning a second home or a vacation home because typically you're gonna be paying someone to do those things for you. Also, not to bring up a crass financial topic, but how are you going to pay for this property? Second homes and vacation homes um, the financing can be different, mm -hmm. it can be more expensive, it can require different down payments. Also, the taxes on the property are generally higher than a first home. So these are all considerations when you're considering purchasing a second home or a vacation home that must be in consideration as you're making this decision. Yeah, and the next thing to consider and evaluate is, is that a lot of resort destinations allow for nightly rentals or you to put the home on a, you know, let's say a VRBO or an Airbnb website where you can rent out the home. So the question is, is are you budgeting and wanting to rent out your home when you're not using it if it is in an area that allows for Airbnbs? Hmm. Or do you just want to have it available at a moment's notice that you can go to it and you're not relying on some additional income? Also keep in mind, there are a lot of areas that do not allow for you to Airbnb it. And if you do, there's some pretty stiff consequences from those cities. These are a few things to consider when you're thinking about a second home or a vacation home, as probably many of us have been doing during this pandemic time. If you have questions about this topic or anything else, please reach out to your Colmere Realty Specialist. Thanks for watching.